Hi, this is Edis, Educational Technologist at Oregon Tech, and in this video I want to go over the folder tab. So, folder tab is similar to send and receive. There's not a lot going on here. It's pretty basic. Um, so again, I can create a new folder that will dump it into my um, inbox here. Uh, so say I want, you know, just call one test, because I always like that um, to, oh, for my testing and my videos and I can say okay and also you can see that this highlighted here show in favorites that's this part here I don't have to show it in favorites um, but it is an option that I have um, so you can add and delete anything you want from your favorites folder just say okay and you can see that I'm not in favorites right now but if I were to click on it and show in favorites now it shows up in favorites and that's jumping the gun a little bit, but since it was there, um, I did want you to see what it looked like. Um, you can also rename a folder. I can search for a folder, sorry. Um, so I can look for unread messages in any of my folders. Um, I can mail or flag for a follow-up. So I have all of these options available to me for searching. Um, rename folder, I think that's pretty self-explanatory. I don't like the name of test, and I would prefer to call it... Um, videos you know um, so now I have a new folder I just renamed it to videos I can also copy the folder I can actually move the folder so say I want it as a subfolder um, so if I click on that I can actually say you know what I don't like it in here I want it to go into um, let's see okay um, you know I want it to go into Tony I can do that as well so you have those options available to you um, I can also delete the folder. I don't need this folder anymore. And um, so I can say yes. Okay, so um, so I just deleted the folder. Um, mark all as read. So I can actually click on this and this makes everything look like it's been read. I can also run my rules now and that's in another video as how to um, set up rules um, for your email messages coming in. I can also show all my folders A to Z, um, you know, if that if they weren't already alphabetical, which I prefer um, alphabetical. I can also choose which folders to clean up. Again, f cleaning up folders is just redundant emails. It's not anything, it's not going to clean up anything other than emails that are duplicated. I can also delete all. Um, all emails so if I go to delete all and I can say yes since there's nothing here now it's all in my deleted folder and so I can actually um, see which emails I just deleted which which should be at the top no I got it backwards sorry um, so there we go so here's the last two emails I received um, I can also empty my deleted folder um, and I can say yes. Now this is one of the things that I was telling everybody that I can show you how to do. So if you do delete emails out of your deleted items, you can actually recover deleted items. So this is the option to recover them from the web, uh, the server, the exchange server. These are only allowed um, up to 30 days. They're only allowed on the server for up to 30 days, so keep that in mind. Um, but if you know what the subject was, what day you deleted it, who it was from, received, you can actually sort by um, any of these headers here. And I can select, say, you know, I want a, this one, I can restore it, and you will see it come back into my um, deleted, um, deleted items. Come on. there it is okay so it showed back up here um, so just be aware that if you do delete things out of your email and you accidentally deleted something you want you can do the recover deleted items and if you're unsure about how to do it you can always contact me um, you can also purge so definitely want to just get it off the server I don't want it anywhere else you can just click and just say okay I, I don't need this anymore so I'm just gonna go ahead and permanently delete it that will just clean it out now anything that's in this recovered deleted items this is on the server but it does not count against your storage space okay 
And you can see also here, recover receive recently removed items from this folder. Again, that's the same thing as the recover deleted items. So I'm gonna go ahead and empty folder. And that's a right click. Right click is your best friend in all of these things. Um, show in favorites, we went over that. Um, view on server, so I don't know if I can actually view this on the server. It doesn't give me that option, so just know that you're there, that you, it's an option. If it pops up, you can view it on the server. Um, you can auto archive settings, so I don't have to archive. I can also archive in places that I um, choose. I don't like to auto archive. I like to make the choice. Um, if you do, there's archive this folder and you can clean out items that are older than six months. So be aware that if you do set this, um, you can change it to days, weeks, months. But if you set it, be aware that those things are gonna, um, you, those things are gonna, um, be removed from your um, from your um, from your folder. All right. Um, okay. Um, folder permissions. I can allow people to look at my permit my folders. Um, and then folder properties basically is just what it says. So um, I would recommend going through all of these things. I may go into them a little bit more um, if needed. Um, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, contact me at edis.warden at oit.edu. And my email uh, phone number is 51730. You can Skype me at Edis Warden and send me an IM or video conferencing request and I will be there for you. Thank you and have a great day.